Good evening. News 13 has learned one time Albuquerque cop who was fired after he was charged with the murder of his wife could be working very closely with the city really soon with a nonprofit group. The mayor's office wants to put a stop to it. News 13's Marissa Lucero shows you the paper trail that reveals the fight. Marissa. Jess, the mayor's office says it's not questioning the work the nonprofit does to help the homeless population, but it is questioning Levi Chavez working in a city sponsored program in a city facility. Did you kill your wife, the mother of your children, Dara Chavez? Absolutely not. It was one of the most high profile trials in Albuquerque history. We finally defended Levi Chavez. Not guilty. Fired Albuquerque police officer Levi Chavis was found not guilty of murdering his wife Tara. He was accused of using his APD issued gun in 2007 to kill her, then stage it to look like a suicide. Tara's family says he did it to keep her from telling investigators he staged the theft of his pickup truck to collect insurance. After the trial, Chavis and his attorney told News 13 he planned to move on from law enforcement. He's young enough that he wants to start a new career. He's now a UNM law student, but we've learned for the last two years he's been working for Heading Home, the nonprofit that spearheads the mayor's homeless campaign. And in the last few months, Chavis was promoted by the nonprofit. According to its website, Chavis is one of three program directors. Heading Home tells News 13 Chavis will be in charge of overseeing the operation of the city's winter homeless shelter. There's one problem. The city wants nothing to do with Levi Chavis. The winter shelter out by Double Eagle is paid for by the city and housed in a vacant city building. This year, Heading Home won the bid to run the shelter, but when the mayor's office found out Levi Chavez would be heading up the project, the city sent a letter to Heading Home CEO saying in part, quote, Chavez was terminated with cause, and they wanted to know if the nonprofit ran a background check on the former cop. The nonprofit fired back with its own letter just three days later, saying he had no criminal convictions and that in his two years at the nonprofit, his supervisors have always given him, quote, high marks on performance evaluations. Now, although Levi Chavis would not be a city employee, the mayor's office feels that this would be like rehiring someone who's not eligible to be rehired. Now, we have the letters between Heading Home and the city and their statements all on the KRQE News app. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Marissa. While Heading Home won the $800,000 bid to run the shelter, the city has not signed the contract yet, but it may be too late to start over with another nonprofit in, the time, in time for the winter.